play these games. Mr. Vaughn, how's it hanging? Persistent little bugger, aren't you, Mosh? Actually, Mr. Vaughn, I am. Who are you? Hinsi. Master Jung was my grandfather. He's the old man who stuck this on my finger. Why was I being chased? Where are we going? Stan! Very soon, all your questions will be answered. We're here. What? Where are you going? Master you. Why did he put this ring on my finger? Surely you can do such a simple task as removing the ring. described to you was attested to by a dozen different witnesses. They all saw Stan fighting with that man. How can a dozen different witnesses be wrong? Are you saying his mother is wrong? No, I'm saying his mother wasn't there to see him. He's 16. He's never been in a fight. Believe me, he's a good boy. We're off on the wrong foot here. That's my fault. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be pointing fingers here. I just need to assemble the facts of this case the best way I can. And to do that, I'm going to need your help. You mind if I ask you where your husband is? I'm a widow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So it's just you and your two sons? Mm-hmm. Is there something wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, I have my men out looking for Stan right now. If anything comes up... You'll call me. I'll call you. Can I ask you something? Yes. Are you... Yes, I am. I knew it. I grew up on that show. Hmm, so did I. I had such a crush on Pigtail Peggy back when I was eight years old. Do you mind if, if I get... What? Your autograph. Oh, sure.
I'd say it's for my kids, but I don't have any kids. I wish you did, because then you'd understand how ridiculous these accusations are. Mr. Deriva, it won't come off. Use a knife. Ah, Raymond, welcome to the party. Mr. Marsh here is about to take what you owe me, and whatever else comes with it. I owe you nothing. I paid you, I gave you everything you asked for. And you served your purpose well. <laughs> You do have an ego, don't you? I would have played it straight with you, but you were the one who double-crossed me. Why? Because you are a fool, Mr. Dereva. And I would be a fool to follow you, and I can't have that now, can I? I would rather the boy have the ring than you. The boy? What boy? The boy with the other ring. Other ring? I don't have time to explain right now, Mr. Dereva, but... I'd like to make a new deal with you. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? No deal. Cut the finger. I think you like this deal. Quite simply, obey me or die. Now that I have everybody's attention, let me repeat my proposition one more time. Quite simply, obey me, or <laughs> I think you remember the rest. Victor! Please come. There you go. I think you make a fine example to you boys. What do you say? Work for me. Oh, I think you should have taken heed to Mr. Marsh's warnings. This ring does harbor power, power greater than you can imagine. And I wear it on my finger. You're the one chosen to carry the ring. What do you mean, I was chosen? You make it sound like the ring makes its own decisions. It does. The ring is a vessel. A key to the secrets and strengths each and every man holds within. It is a doorway to the power of the will. It selected you as its bearer. Why me, then? It is not for you to question. It is for you to accept. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna pass this thing through my family for, let's say, the next 800 years. Only until the ring decides different. <laughs> I'm as baffled by its selection as you. But that is of no matter. What does matter is that you were chosen. Yeah. I'm the chosen one. It is time for us. <laughs> Your grandfather's not that great in the explanation department. My grandfather thinks that the best explanation for everything is... Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't tell me. And listen to me. Long ago, a great emperor longed for strength. He entered a volcano, and three days later, he emerged with two matching rings. The rings of power. When he put these two rings on, the emperor became all-powerful. But he misused his power bringing death and misery to his whole village. And one day, the volcano erupted, destroying the emperor and his whole city. The only survivors were the two rings themselves.